guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and today I am going to go ahead and do another cage tour video. So as you can see, I have set up the cage here with some color points, and I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. So first of all, we have the top unit here. This one is set up with a blue-green theme, and as you can see, I have done the blue-green theme as best as I could. To start, we have this bird hanging food dish with some oxbow in it. Then we have two of the Roddy Savic uh, igloos, I think. I think they're called Roddy igloos. And they're kind of like space pods, but, you know, longer. And then we have one of my foraging toys. It's just a foraging cup. And then we have two of these teal space pods. You can see them a little better above. And in the back, you can see a food dish with some more oxbow, along with two green water bottles. Then right here we have a hanging food dish with more oxbow along with a foraging toy with, well, more oxbow. There's a lot of oxbow in this cage. Then in the back you can see the 12 inch Katie Comfort wheel, which is one of their two wheels. And moving along, here you can see some of their watering stuff. Uh, we have two 12 ounce water bottles along with a Living World bird cup, which lets them drink some fresh water directly from the source just like freestanding water. And here we have another bowl of oxbow and another hanging bird dish. So that is it for the top top part. Let's move down a little bit. I'm going to put to bean, oh, excuse me beaners, there you go. Okay, so moving down, we have the orange area, as I guess I should call it. And to start, we have this side shelf thing, which is basically a spice shelf from Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, mine is actually second hand, but I have seen them in those places. And I have taken a shirt, an old holy shirt, and cut it up and binder clipped on some of that shirt. So nice and warm and soft and just great for them to sit on, sleep on, whatever they want. And right here we have a wheel. Uh, this is actually a dog toy. But as you can see, I have hung it up with some seat clips to this shelf right here. Oh, I forgot to mention this is actually a cookie shelf with some uh, yesterday's news on it. And this is a pan from Bass Equipment with more yesterday's news. So moving down again, we have this hammock, which is made from the rest of the shirt, which is also hung up with some of the C-clips. Then down here, we have, first of all, the rat's 15 inch Chen Sprint wheel. And in the back, we have two of their smaller water bottles. Uh, these are four ounces. Then over here, we have the rat's current favorite sleeping area, which is this big rock looking thing. It's actually part of an old fountain and it has none of the fountain bits inside, of course, it's just hollow. And it has this little area down here, which the rats can use to access the inside. And they love to sleep in there and play in there and all that sort of stuff. And I've placed some pieces of the shirt that I wasn't able to use for other things on top of the fountain so the rats can nest with it. Then here I have two more foraging items with food in it. Uh, the first one is the Oxbow Forging Pot, and the second is my imitation of it, so the DIY version. Then over here we have another side shelf with more of the shirt clipped on. I'm just going to call it the shirt from now on. And it has some binder clips holding it down. This one is actually meant for the bathroom. Okay, Bean, 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 what are you doing? Bean, really Bean? Stop being so crazy. And over here we have another spice shelf with two little levels. And that's exactly like that one over there. Again, more shirt clipped down to make it nice to walk on. And moving to the middle, we have this large U-shaped thing. Uh, that is actually a bathroom sink organizer, which I have again placed some more of these little shirt scraps on. Then in the middle, I have a old bucket. Uh, this one is a Halloween bucket, but I have turned it around so you can only see the orange side. And on top I put some more of the shirt scraps. And then here I put another bucket. Uh, you can kind of see the Halloween part coming through, but just ignore that. Pretend it's just all orange. And finally in the middle I have another bowl of Oxbow. So that is this level. And now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the final area, which I guess I should call Pink and Purple Land. Okay, and moving on to the final unit. Uh, this door is trying to close because of how I have the playpen attached. But basically, I have a water bottle over here, another 12 ounce. And over here, I have two more spice shelves, this time with some felt clipped on, along with another one of my foraging toys. You can see here, they have to pull out these little drawers to get to the oxbow inside. 
Okay, so going inside, we first have this pink uh, Roddy Igloo, you can see right here. Sorry for the lighting change. And here we have one of those step-up ladders. Uh, I think they're called step-up barns. And it has, of course, a little area inside. Uh, maybe someone's going to go in there? Never mind. And over here we have two of my rat's foraging toys. The first one is called a space circle, I think. I think it's called space circles. And it's a bird foraging toy. They have to tilt it downwards to get the food to come out. And in the back they have their foraging wheel. So you can see that there. And uh, I don't know if you can see the little holes. They have to move it around to get to the food. And then over here you can see my dig tank. I did not have enough of the themed colored bedding, but that's okay because I really just wanted to add a little bit of pizzazz to it. So it's just their dig tank. They have some crinkled paper in there. It's 20 gallons long and they like to dig and burrow and sleep inside. Okay, so up here we have two more space pods slash Sputniks. Uh, these are purple and pink. And in the back we have another space pod slash Sputnik, uh, and that is next to a heart-shaped food dish with more oxbow. And then right here we have another Savic item. This is one of their tunnels. I can't remember the exact name, but it is pink, very pink, and they like it. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't think, oh wait, there's, there's a water bottle over there, and that one is eight ounces. So yeah, that's it. The rats are going absolutely bonkers over there, just playing with each other, jumping around, being little crazies. I know you guys want to play. Can you just give me a minute to set stuff up? They're very unhappy that I haven't put stuff out yet. They're like, what, what? You just decorated the cage? Come on, that's so easy. <laughs> Little do you know, raddies. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here so I can put out their free range stuff and let them run around. Okay guys, so this is an overview and I'm going to go ahead and end this here so I can put out some stuff for the rats. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye.